Hello, my name is Tammy Williams, and this is Things of Interest, and I have my guest with me, Roderick Casey. Hello, Roderick. How are you doing, I'm Tammy? I'm good, I'm good. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. You know, um, you haven't been with us since April when we talked about the private prison uh, situation, and we want everybody to know out there that it's still alive and well. We're still fighting against mm -hmm. the private prisons. There's so many different rumors and things out there about it being over or that Governor Snyder, you know, snuck one up on us or, you know, that the fight is still not active, that we can't be effective. Mm -hmm. But before we get started, I want you to read something that, that's very special to you. What is it, Roderick? Okay, it's a poem <clears throat> written two years before my uh, great-grandfather mm -hmm. was born in okay. Vicksburg, Mississippi. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, it says, um, it was, uh, three years before the uh, Civil War. Okay, all right. And it says, slavery, this is from Frederick Douglass. Okay. It says, slavery has been fruitful mm -hmm. in giving itself name. It has been called the peculiar institution, the social system, and the impediment. It has been called by a great many names, mm -hmm. and it will call itself by yet another name. And you and I and all of us have better wait and see what form this old monster will assume, and what new skin this old snake will come forth next. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been fighting this battle a long time, Roderick. Yes. It's it, crazy. But tell us, what's been happening with the private prison fight? Well, the private prisons, uh, as you said, Rick Snyder and his cronies, they uh, they uh, did a overnight session, mm -hmm. I built it, uh, uh, adopted these bills like four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And this was not um, unknowingly because I had already contacted the governor mm -hmm. and, and let him know what this was all about and basically just slavery in the disguise of justice. And he went forth anyway mm -hmm. and allowed them to approve this bill and signed it. Well, shame on him, shame on him, yeah. Well, you know, it's all about money, you know, yeah. and uh, well, it's about business. and. These here private prisons have already have a track record mm -hmm. of failure. Okay. They have not shown to uh, really uh, cause the states to save any money. Okay. In fact, they have been a liability where there has been riots uh, because of, of, of bad food in the prisons. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> the, the legislation even when approved to immune them from lawsuits. Okay. So in other words, the state of Michigan will, will be liable for anything that goes on in the prison. Whether one, a person escapes or whether they uh, unfortunately kill each other, mm -hmm. the state, the burden will fall on the state. These prisons will not be uh, liable for it. Oh, oh wow. That's, that, that's a good insurance policy, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they got a good insurance. But you know, it's, it's a lot more about money. It's about control and power. and. You know, our, our especially our African American children, you get get um cases against them young in their life, so young they get cases against them so young that they can't do anything. They're paralyzed right at the beginning of their life. Mm -hmm. So it does a lot of things. I think it's just a multifold type of way to, you know, control people. Mm -hmm. And they get felons. They can't do anything. That's why, even the stand stand your stand your ground laws are are making minorities nervous when we should be able to enjoy them as well because we can enjoy them because we get these felonies or, you know, we get these cases against us so young that, you know, we're always victims. Well, and, and that's no accident because these corporation, Corporation of America uh, and, and GEO, mm -hmm. they have uh, lobbyists and they have spent over $2 million to influence lawmakers to create laws, which we call in, uh, in slavery time, or back, you know, during slavery, black code laws. And these black codes law, once a person get a feeling they can't get a job, they can't get oh, a no, house, no, they can't, no, you know, no. a lot of... And there are agencies that do a background check on you. 
-hmm. And young people, anything they've done back until their their teens Mm -hmm. is sent to the employee and the employer, and everything they've ever done, they pick their nose in public. It's on that that sheet, and it comes to the employer, then they'll send one to you. So, you know, Mm -hmm. whatever you've done in your life, you know, it's right there for any employee. It's hard to get a job. I mean, it's just hard to do anything. And and young people just don't understand, you know, how crippling them being so free and in control of their lives and doing what they want to do. It's a trap. You know, they still don't want to mind adults. They still don't want to grow, you know, be take good advice. And they want to do what they want to do. And then they get out there. And then, you know, they, they're really crippled. They're, they're absolutely crippled. So, you know, they, I mean, thank you for coming to share the private um, a prison situation so mm-hmm. that you can let young people know that, you know, they, they need to listen. They're not grown. Just because they feel in their own bodies and they see the power within their body, mm-hmm. their vessel, they're not grown. They're not an adult. Well, and, and tell me you're correct about that. But the thing is... Uh, adolescents gonna be adolescents, okay? And this is what these uh, uh, private prisons count on. They have their studies mm-hmm. and research to make these possible candidates. It used to be all the way from the school pipeline to prison. Yeah. Now it's even in the mama's birth canal. Ooh. Okay. They they look at how many of the mothers are fatherless. You know, have <laughs> have the kids. You know, no father. I they look at the uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, but the statistics. Yes. You're talking about the statistics, right? The statistics. You're right. You're right. And and you know, like TV is so much lust, and it's so much promiscuousness, and it's just so free. And people, and you're young, you're feeling yourself, and mm. you just can do it anything, anytime you want to do it. No kind of consequences. No kind of. You know, and you this is you become a statistic, and they land for that. They they are exactly. they are counting on that. Exactly, they're counting on that. <laughs> they're counting on you know you having a whole bunch of babies out of wedlocks without s- secure a structure, secure family mm. background. Right, and impoverishment. Yes, yes, and that's this is what they uh, count on. Yes, all right, and what they do, they go and lobby the legislators. In other words, legal bribery. Yeah. And what these legislators have done already, mm-hmm. they have passed bill to stiffen sentences, yeah. okay, for for uh, uh, individuals, uh, quote unquote, violent crime. And when we looked into it, half of it wasn't even violent. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. It just added on to violent crime if you already yeah. committed one. And what it is, they look for people 25, okay? They're okay. looking for the 25 year old age group okay. or younger. And they want to get them 25 years off the top. Wow. And and see, Tammy, this is their most productive years. Mm-hmm. Oh, this yeah. is the years that they put. Absolutely. You know, they, it, this is the years that they, they start their life, and they become a good partner, a good mate, and they have good children. I mean, you're taking the mates away from the women, and we, that's a whole other subject because in the streets, if you can't find a, a gentleman, women are finding other women you know, to, to, to be their partners or, or to help raise their children because a lot of the, you know, young men are are incarcerated and, and damaged. So, right. you know, it's a lot of repercussions to, you know, in society to, well, to what we, we're having right now. It's hard. Well, Tammy, if you really want to get down to the base of it, really it's, it's their years where they procreate. Yes, they do. Where they make children, yeah. okay? And this here is not only a threat to minorities, but threat to humanity alone, all right? This eliminate the procreation and the growth of humankind. So you have the poverty, you have the statistics, you have, you're vulnerable, you, mm-hmm. you know, unless you can find a friend or family or somebody, a church, you know, you, and, you know, it's hard to find someone there that will help these mothers raise these children, even in, so if they go into the system where they become, you know, adopted or, or you know, that's that's even worse. It's, it's just a lot of damage. Well, just it's a lot of damage. It's frightening when you have money to influence the legislators mm-hmm. because these same legislators also cut school funding to ensure that these children are prodded into the system, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all right? Cut the education fundings, cut food stamps, cut all these other uh, uh, government assistance that yeah. help you know, the poor and the needy. Yeah. Huh? You get no argument out of me, Casey. I'm, I'm just listening to you, you say it, and my mind is just, it's just moving because 
Um, there's young people out there that think that they're smarter than the system, and, and just with the poem that you read, that was how long ago that was um, that was created. That means that this thing has been in existence at, in a long at, uh, in a long time, and these kids are smarter than the institution. You know, you still got young people thinking they're smarter than the average bear. It's not going to happen to them. They can go into a store and steal, standing out like a sore thumb, and and they're surprised they get caught. You know, it's just like, duh, wake up. The system has been in place a long time, and, you know, it knows your every move. Well, it's, it's, you, and you're correct about that, Tammy, but it's now beginning to surface. Since, you know, we had the Republicans then took over, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, and, and unfortunately, doing it right up under President Obama's uh, uh, time, on his clock. Yeah. You know, and so they have been around for the longest, yeah. but now they have surfaced. Yeah. And we need, as people, and I don't just mean African Americans, I mean humanity yeah, yes, itself yes, need yes, to address yes, this. It's because not a racial thing necessarily. I mean, we do suffer as a minority, but there's a right. lot of people of different races that, you know, are, are suffering in, in, in this coalition. Oh, this yeah. Coalition. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's mainly African American, we get God first yes. because we're more vulnerable. Yes. We can't Absolutely. afford attorneys, yes. you know. We're in a, a, a situation and an area what we're going to come in contact with, you know, um, individuals. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But also, the bottom line is it's about green. Yeah. It's about putting the kids on the stock market. Yeah. It's about, it's about uh, 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 profits. Yes. And, and this is what we're addressing as the Black Caucus uh, Public Action Committee for Justice, mm -hmm. the Democratic Party. Okay. This is what we're addressing to our legislators and we're educating our peoples right now. Okay. This year we have a loan. We just celebrated our first year anniversary last month. Okay. And we have uh, already did over six forms within this, the, the uh, last year and this year alone. Okay. And not to mention one major uh, uh, statewide education uh, conference okay. and in conjunction with EMU. Okay. Okay. That's Reg great. Thank goodness to Reggie Burns. You know, uh, they do the co uh, community outreach, mm -hmm. and it was a success. We had people from all over the state to come, all diversity, races. They came together to address their concerns. We pulled together, and we stand in touch, and we continue to move forward. Then we just recently had a, um, a training, coalition training mm -hmm. at EMU. So we are not just sitting back just uh, uh, advocating what's going on, but okay. we also are taking action just as well. But we cannot do this alone. Okay, well, um, we're gonna um, um, take a break and we have a, a DVD that we want everybody to uh, enjoy. And when we get back, we wanna talk more about that and find out what we, how people can get involved.
Well, that was the undisputed truth with smiling faces, and I hope that you all enjoyed it. And that, you know, that has a lot to do with what we're talking about, just the, the, the deception that we, we deal with. Mm -hmm. I want you all to remember us. This is Things of Interest, and I, we come on Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. and Thursday at 3.30 p.m. on Comcast a Cable Channel 17. And if you'd like to get in touch with us, um, please remember you can send us an email. It's our P.O. Box, 9805-81, and it's our telephone number. Um, we look forward to hearing from you. Ah. Oh. So, KC, Roderick Casey, tell us, tell us, uh, you know, as much as you can in the short time that we have about, um, you know, um, the events. Now, the events, if you, if you all didn't catch on, um, Roderick Casey, he represents um, this or organization. It's called the, he's the chair of the Public Ash Action Committee for Justice, and he is um, an advocate to oppose private prisons. That's what we're here to talk about. So, um, you know, however you would like to, to, to speak to the audience, I, I do know that, you know, a lot is happening. It's kind of confusing. When mm -hmm. one bill goes away, something else jumps up. And so people think that, you know, there's no hope, there's nothing we can do. No. Well, see, that's why it's so important to stay, up, uh, stay focused yes. on this, sir, Tammy. Yes. Because so many people get caught up with this bill and that bill, mm -hmm. yeah, and and so that's fine yeah. because we're dealing with a snake with many heads. Oh. And oh. a snake doesn't die. I mean, people oh. don't understand it. One of the, I have a pest control background. I'm gonna tell you, one of the things you cannot kill, you have to trap, is a snake. Yes. And yeah. you can't kill. There's no poison to kill a snake. Well, and the thing is, is that we've been having forms, mm -hmm. okay, at churches. We start off at the. Uh, what is that, the African-American Methodist Church? Uh -huh. um, we, Brown Chapel? Past, yeah, Brown, Brown Chapel. Chapel. Right, and we've been going to churches, schools, okay. and we've been having an education for them, and the spinoffs from these okay. has been great. The responses, great. we have professors are stepping up, yes. creating programs for their colleges. Okay. We have, uh, in one case, we have the... Um, the re rock they stepping up, okay, okay to uh, um, to enforce the uh, resolution that I passed by the grace of God. I was able to pass to ban the box, okay, uh, the, with the along with the Washington County Democratic Party. We passed the ban the box, okay, and so now they are uh, they are enforcing this sir, to have our commissioners and our city councils to pass this sir, because you know we all feel that once a person has served their time. Mm -hmm that they should not be condemned for life. Oh, you, okay. you, you, they, that's the point. They serve their time. They serve their time. And it's, it's a violation of the Constitution. Right. Okay? Yes. And and you got people out here that is making profit off of them. And as long as they can keep them uneducated and they can keep oh, them yeah. oppressed, they can yes. keep them in prison, they can proud them right back into yeah. the prison yeah. system. Yeah, I agree. I, yeah, I, I, and so that's that's what our job is right now is just to educate them right okay. now, all right. Okay, so and as things develop, I will let, I will keep you further noticed on. Please you know. do. There's one thing that, that irritates me, Casey. You know, I'm a parent. You know, three children, and you know, you want to teach your children how to talk, how to communicate, how to deal with authority. Mm -hmm. And these young people, it's not until they get in trouble that they don't know how to talk to a lawyer or talk to a judge. Correct. You know, you don't want to try to teach a child how to be responsible and, you know, the etiquettes, the tools and to, to grow mm -hmm. once they're in trouble. Right. How you going to talk to them now? They're in trouble now. You know, so even in the school system, it just irritates me that they just don't, they, they still don't know how, they don't know how to, talk, they know how to express themselves to their teachers. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to talk or communicate and get their point, of, point across. And so we, we have to educate. We have to teach our young people, and they have to learn it. You know, it's, Sometimes mm -hmm. adults don't want to deal with the children because we don't want to fight them. We don't want, you know, we, 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 we don't want to fight them. We want them to be receptive and understand that they, they do still need to learn some things. They need to talk to how to talk to authority, you know, and, and things mm -hmm. like that. And, and they don't. And, and once they get in trouble, it's too late to teach them. They already, I mean, they can learn, I mean, the, you know, the next time. Right. But they can, do a, they can do a lot of damage to their lives that time. 
Well, see, and that's the thing we're trying to do. We're trying to make sure that if they do learn, get in trouble and learn, okay. that they are not forced back into the jail system Amen. or the institutions, okay. Okay? okay? Because we know that, as I pointed out before, adolescents, they mind, they mind haven't fully developed no, yet. No, their bodies is, is already, okay. it's on point. That's the problem. Their, their, their bodies are strong. <laughs> right, right. But still the mind is not developed. No. And they still act out volatile or whatever right, else. Right, right. And I mean, they're just kids. Kids do that. You know, and the peer pressure, the streets, the peer pressure on the streets, don't right. underestimate that, parents. Right. Don't underestimate right. the peer pressure in the streets because it's very strong. You know, it's like once right. once the school system or the, the world gets your child, it's like a stranger in your house. It's right. like a gas. It's an unseen gas. Mm -hmm. That you don't realize that you want your child to be in the music or you want your child to be learning or is this peer pressure that you really, really, really have to realize that that's, that's, that's against them. And, and that comes from the poverty level. That comes right. from people that don't have maybe the structure in their home that's teaching them, you know, the balance of, of that, you know, you, and I, I bring that up because instructions, when you learn how to articulate, when you mm -hmm. learn how to express yourself, that, that right. comes through a lot of social activities that the streets, the peer pressure in the streets kind of deter kids away from. Well, and see, that's where the parents step in. They yes. have to show support. You know, when they have their uh, 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 musical recital, go yes, to it. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Ask them a question. You know, how you doing in school? Let them know. Reward them, you know? Can you Take spell? Take them out to lunch. Yeah. Yes. Ask, can you spell? Can you, you know, arithmetic? Do you count money? You know, I mean, parents take right. for granted that the kids can do that and, you know, progress reports, make sure, even with progress reports or with, you know, grades, make sure that they can do the work that, that, that their class is doing. Right, and if, even if the parents did not finish school, take them up to the college, up to Upward Bound. Yes. Let them get involved, Good let point. them see the campus, Good point. you know, because they're in a college town, you might as well take advantage of it. Good point, good point. You know? Now, I don't want to leave here without us talking about what people can do to where these bills are at or however you like to address the situation. What can people do? Get involved with the organization that you're involved with? Um, yes. I have, a, I have an email. I have, um, so this is how you can get in touch with Roger Casey, you know, Kate, Rod. Casey Pack, that's the organization. Oh, yep. Public Action Committee yes. for Justice at gmail.com. Or you can tweet them. Or tweet me. I'm, well, I'm getting a little high tech. Yeah, yeah, you tweet me. <laughs> tweet me. Yeah, so is that what you would want people to do? Because, you know, you know, you, you, Right now, maybe it's the slowest, nothing up. You want to educate people. It's, it's just a lot to learn. Educate well. We also want to get them involved. In fact, while we're on this subject, I'd like to mention that I, my county party, mm -hmm. okay, the Washington County Democratic Party, okay. my main party, they are having a, a, a training, okay, on perspective, uh, um, what would you call it? Civic leaders. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 And also campaign training, and okay. we have scholarship for okay. it. We trying to the, the the party is trying to include uh, people of color okay. to get them more involved into the political system. Okay. So in two weeks they're having a conference. Is that correct? No, no, they're having a training. A training. With the okay. next 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 weekend, not okay. this weekend, but the seventeenth. Uh, uh, okay. All and eighteenth, right. they're gonna have Camp Millie training. Okay. It's gonna be right here in Washington. County up on Ellsworth okay. and what you do if you want to get your child we look for people 35 and under okay 35 and under okay. we trying to get the younger okay. crowd in there so we trying to give you some work okay okay uh, <clears throat> go on go online to Washtenaw County Democratic Party okay and once you go online you would go ahead and link to this application fill in your application there are some phone numbers to call we have scholarships all right no one is turned away so Get involved. If you're interested in being a political leader or even being a campaign manager, it's, this is your opportunity to get involved, get hands-on experience, and get taught by the leaders themselves. And matter of fact, you get an opportunity to meet your leaders. Great. That's, that's great. Uh, this is the, the information again. Get in touch with Rod. Yes. Casey, please write this down. If you didn't, you know, or, or, or if you got that infinity, you can rewind wind this or tape it or whatever you need to do to get this information. You can always call us at, at um, Things of Interest. We'd be glad to forward it to, uh, to um, Mr. Casey. Um, we look forward to that. So, um, you know, we have a, a, a little time left, um, Rod, and, you know, please address the um, viewing audience and let them know what they need to do to... 
Okay, get I would involved. suggest that you get involved and stay involved. Uh, find out what's going on. Talk to your local leaders, your local legislators, and let them know you oppose private prison. And do some research on it and see how much it affects you, how much it's going to affect you. For instance, like, did you know that many of the companies that you even get your utility from have financial interest in these here private prisons? Wow. You know? Oh, that's scary. And how do you boycott DET? I mean, there's only well, one company now. I mean, so it's so tight that... You you call them. They have like, uh, 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 what you call those personals, the people that uh, public relations. Okay. Call their public relations and let them know you don't appreciate spending your money on somebody who is investing into imprisoning right. your children's that's, imprisoning your future. That's crazy. Because they're messing with our most precious resources. Yes, our children, our, our legacy. Yes. Yeah. And so if you want to do that. Commission. But also, come to the events. We have uh, 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 experts and professors talking and telling you about this here. Yes. So come to the events just as well, and also we will soon have our website up, and I will okay. give you that as soon as okay. we get it well, up. Okay, well, you come on and share okay. it with everyone. But as a delegate for Ipsy Township by the grace of God elected delegate and also vice chair of the Black Caucus, okay. I have a responsibility, ancestry responsibility, mm -hmm. to let our people know what's going on. Well, great. Because we hear things of interest want to get all these, all these organizations to come together because mm -hmm. most people are involved with all of them. Right. And let the children, young people know that leadership is there and wants to work with them. Really, really, you got people that really want to work with the young people. They want to pass on their knowledge, you know, as, as Correct. they want to. And they just don't, don't want to deal with the attitudes or don't want to fight you because, you know, want you to understand that you, you, you're young, you, your body is mature, but your mind is not. You have a lot to learn, and there's people there that's willing to teach you, but you have to be receptive, too. And yeah, and it's just getting to that time where it's yeah. almost time for you to step up to the plate. Well, you, they're getting kids in, in high school. I mean, the judicial uh, the system will get you, you can catch a case in, 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 mm -hmm. in high school. You, you're you not safe. Well, this, see, this affects, uh, one thing we try to emphasize, the legislators we got now is cutting out school even cut out food stamp for college students. Yeah. Now, why would you do something like that? Yes, it's getting hard. You know, I mean, everybody is not able to do everything for their kids in college. Yeah, no, no. Okay? Everybody don't have a, 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 a six-digit income. Yeah. Well, this right? is, well, this is Tammy Williams. This is Things of Interest. And we want you to remember us. We'll be for you again real soon, Casey. You gonna come back and see us? I'm definitely gonna be okay. back. And thank you we so much. We need more than 30 for minutes, don't we? <laughs> we can go on and on. Yes, we can. We can go on and on. God bless you. See you again real soon. Thank you. I'll